Hi, good morning, welcome aboard Sea Urchin. This morning I'm just going to take you through a short little clip on collecting mackerel for bait, which is the way that we start the trips in the summer on Sea Urchin is we'll come out, catch some fresh mackerel and then start fishing for the cod and ling. It normally takes about 10 or 15 minutes, it's good fun, nice start to the day. There's a few little pointers, I see people actually not not catch but struggle to catch sometimes there's a couple of little things that you can do to avoid that so what do we use i don't have a, a bespoke mackerel in rod or anything like that i just use the same rod that i always use for all my fishing in my case uh, century excalibur braid and my normal reel uh, multiply with 60 pound braid i don't bring a separate rod then all you do, put your clip on the end, as you would normally have for fishing a, a standard bait trace. And then I use uh, a 10 ounce lead. You still do want a bit of weight to get you down. And then any kind of a mackerel trace that you like. The, I, I like the ones with the little bits of uh, shiny tinsel on. There are different, different companies make different ones. Uh, this one has four on. Now, when you stood shoulder to shoulder with other anglers, it can get a little bit messy when there's mackerels, you know, they're flying over, over the rails all the time. So the first thing that I normally do with my mackerel traces is cut one of them off. Sometimes I cut two off, but uh, for the purposes of today, so I'll cut one and I'll just fish with three. And what you find is, you can see already, when you've got multiple hooks, they do tangle quite easily and three mackerel at a time is absolutely fine that's all we're going to do clip that on and then i'll just one other thing worth pointing out on my rod before i start fishing for mackerel mackerel are horrible little creatures that are covered in tiny tiny scales they get absolutely everywhere so before i start fishing this isn't my own top tip this is something that one of my other anglers does and before he starts he squirts some wd-40 in a cloth and he wipes it on the reel seat and on the lower part of the rod which when you get the mackerel in you can't help but get them on your hands or rather get the scales on your hands and just a quick wipe over that'll stop them from sticking on and then after you finish catching your mackerel a quick wipe over jobs are good so look good little tip that one for you because i hate mackerel scales they just get absolutely everywhere right i'll quickly drop this on and see if we can find a couple The next, it's very, very simple and straightforward. I'm not trying to make the things out to be complicated because mackerel fishing, anybody can do. But one of the mistakes that I see people make is they drop straight to the bottom, and that is a mistake. More often than not, the mackerel will be just down under the boat. Now, the, the line, or the braid rather, that I have on this reel is multicoloured, and it comes in sections. Some people use multicoloured braids, so they'll, they'll watch the colours go down, they're on three colours down and I'm catching on green. Once you actually find the depth that the mackerel are at, just drop to it every time and you'll just keep catching them. I prefer to count, I just count down and then when I find them I'll stop. My reel's out of gear, using the thumb to control everything. I just slightly slow down the speed that the lead drops and when you're going down through the water column you will feel the first little rattle or tap that you feel stop because you'll have found the mackerel and then they will eventually jump on. So normally my all around Whitby I usually go between 5 and 12. The, the key to it is to keep moving up and down through the water column until you find the depth. Don't just stick at one and just keep jiggling it up and down. Just keep moving up and down, up and down. Once you've found them it's really easy. So we'll, we'll give this a go. I'm going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. I'll stop it there. I'll just have a lift. Now, go a little bit further, six, set, there we go, look, I was just above them the first stop. So now that we've got them on, we just wind them up. And that's it, that's all there is to it. Just got the one on this. So, when you, uh, uh, there's only one on this particular trace, but you'll see the first thing that I did was catch the lead. There's all sorts of little dints and don'ts on my boat from people having leads flying around smacking into it. So when it comes up, 
I hold the rod, I catch the lead. And then I literally just put everything into one hand. This is what I was saying about people who have five and six feathers on, it's just absolute total carnage. And then get your mackerel. I try not to touch them to keep the scales down to a minimum, but it depends how the hook, this one's, there we go. So we've got him off. You probably won't be, see, be able to see it because it's out of shot. I also have a bucket of water so I can wash my hands. And I also have an empty bucket that I'm gonna put my mackerel in. I am gonna keep two or three mackerel and then when I've finished, I'll probably do it at home. Um, I'll just show you the, the different ways that we cut the mackerel up for different presentations. I'll have one more little drop. One, two, three, four, five. Should be around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So that's just the importance of counting. Yeah, we've got a couple this time. That, that's it, that'll do. That's enough for me. I've got one decent sized one to cut up. That's it. That's three in the bucket and that'll do. Okay, I'm back inside and I just thought, I've kept one mackerel, so I just thought it was, I see a lot of people struggling to mount um, either a mackerel fillet or basically what we do with it. So I've just kept the one and I'll show you how we mount them on the bait traces that we use. I mean, fresh mackerel takes some beating, especially Ling absolutely love fresh mackerel, nothing finer. So even if you're using the Hawkeyes, which are the, the, the small rubber lures, you get like three on a set, um, just a, get a piece of mackerel, or just only a real small piece, don't overfill the hooks. So all you need to, all you need to do is sort of just run, run a fillet off, which, mackerel are very easy so we just go straight down to the backbone and then working away from your fingers it makes me cringe when I see people on board especially when the boat's pitching and rolling and they start cutting towards the hands so there we go that's the fillet off and like I was saying if you're doing hock eyes you can just cut you know small pieces like that um, what I quite often do, I only really use this when I'm fishing on bait traces, to be honest. And what I'll do, I mean, this is uh, quite a big fillet, but believe it or not, you know, you see a decent sized ling or cod's mouth, that's, you know, ideal size really. You just put the whole thing on. That's why we use big hooks, you know, seven o's and eight o's. You don't want your hook to be completely covered with bait uh, so that the hook can't penetrate the fish's mouth. The other way that I'll do, that I'll mount, I haven't got one with me today, unfortunately, is I will put on a whole squid onto the panel and the Muppet, put a whole squid on there, and then I'll cut a nice strip of mackerel and hang that on the bottom as well, so I fish a combination of squid and mackerel. That's I, what I do more often than not. The other way is just to mount the fillet, so this is how I do it. There's lots of different ways, but I know some people struggle. So, with the two hooks, now, what I, you're thinking about retrieving. So when it's dropping through the water and when it's coming back up, this, this standoff boom, if it's going down, will come up in the air. So what you want to do is have the tail of the mackerel following it so it doesn't spin in, more, in the water. So you're looking to get your bottom hook, the big hook. So we just go through the fillet, out the other side. pull it through and then through again now you'll see that the hook is standing pr this is the key is to get your hook standing proud like that well, you can see that that really is sticking out that's important because when the fish gets hold of the bait because it's quite a large bait you need the hooks to get in the fish's mouth as well so then all we do after that is simply measure up your top hook twice round 
and through the top. You don't really need the Muppet when you're fishing a bait as big as that, but it doesn't hurt. That just saves me taking them off. So that is what I would be fishing. So my lead will be on there and that will go to my rod. And we drop that down. That's got big fat ling written all over it. And that's how we mount them. The other thing that you can do, obviously I've taken off one side of the fillet. Some people on slack water when you're drifting the wrecks, will, you may have heard of a, a mackerel flapper. Basically what a flapper is, is you taking the backbone out of the fish and leaving the head with two fillets, which then wobble around in the current. Now granted, I've only got one left, but I'll show you how to flapper one side. It really isn't difficult. Instead of starting at the top like you do for taking a fillet off, you start the other end, start the tail end and you work your way up. So, now that that's in, that's it, working away, always work away from your hands when you're using a knife. So we just run, run up the fish, the blade down to the backbone, then when you get up to the top, you simply cut the backbone off. So, there's the backbone. And then you can see there, that, that's essentially one side of the flapper. You would have two if you had the other fillet on and they just drift around in the current so that's a big old bait it's a chunky mackerel to do it for a flapper i personally for the fish that we catch i prefer something a mackerel slightly smaller but it's just to show you the principle yeah so that's how you prepare the mackerel ready to go it's a great bait when they're in and yeah but like i said messy as hell okay Hopefully there was something in there that might be of use for some. Hopefully see you on board sea urchin soon. Cheers.